every time I open this account here to record a video, I'm more tempted to stop organizing everything on my main account. As you already know, this account is a big mess. And I'm always wondering if AI search is capable enough to find everything as quickly as I am. <laughs> but that's a topic for another video. Before we talk about the two-way thing, though, we have to discuss the three calendars you can have on Evernote. Now, based on some of the comments I'm seeing on recent videos, some of you are still a little bit confused about that. So let's understand what are these three calendars. As you can see here, I don't have Google or Outlook connected to this Evernote account. However, there is still a calendar here. We have the Evernote calendar where I can create events and where I'll see all my Evernote tasks. But this calendar has nothing to do with Outlook or Google Calendar. It is relatively new, and I guess that's what making people kind of confused about it. But again, this is a separate calendar. It is the Evernote calendar. And if I click here, create an event, or here, create an event, new event, you can see that I have the calendar here and the word events, just like here, events. So there is only one calendar, the Evernote calendar, and the events space where I can create an event. So let's do that. And regarding the integration with Evernote, it works just like the Outlook or Google Calendar. For example, I can create uh, a note linked to this event, which I didn't give a title. <laughs> OK, let's go back to the calendar. Now I'll connect my Google Calendar, which is the second calendar you can have on Evernote. And by the way, to use this two-way sync, you have to reconnect. Uh, Evernote will ask you to do that. Just follow the steps. OK, did you see what just happened here? Now we have the Evernote calendar and also the Google calendar, meaning that if I create a new event now, I'll have to choose where I want that event. If I select the Evernote calendar, it won't synchronize with everything, only with the other Evernote accounts, of course. If I want it on Google Calendar, I have to select one of the calendars I have on Google. In other words, the Evernote calendar is here for people who don't want to connect or don't have uh, or don't use a Google Calendar or Outlook, but is still would like to have a calendar, use a calendar on Evernote. So keep that in mind. This is a separate, this is a different calendar. It has nothing to do with Outlook or Google calendars. Google Calendar integration was available from the very beginning, and Outlook is around for a while. But in both cases, all we could do was see uh, events created on Google or Outlook. If we go back to Evernote now, there it is, new event from Google Calendar. And let's say you don't want to see the Evernote events. Just click here and that is gone. The same is true for the, Ever the, the Google Calendar. I can remove the view from the calendar, okay? The difference now is that I can edit this event from the Evernote side. Unfortunately, there is no way to drag it. I would love to have that available. That's how I move things around on Google Calendar. But if you click here, you can add it. And let's move this to later on. Let's say, I don't know, 3 o'clock p.m. And as you can see here, this is the Google Calendar. So we move that to a different time. So let's go back to Google, and there it is. Pretty cool, right? 
But there is one more thing I can do here. I can create an event and select the Google Calendar created on Evernote. So let's go to Google Calendar. That's pretty cool, right? If we think about it, it's as having a centralized hub. You can have all your Google calendars, all your Outlook calendars, and even an Evernote calendar with your tasks. In my case, for example, I have a personal and a professional calendar, two different accounts. To Google. One is the Google free account and the other one is a workspace account. By the way, if you want to try workspace, please use my affiliate link. You won't pay anything extra and you'll be helping the channel. Anyway, the third calendar is Outlook that I won't be able to show you because I don't use anything. Uh, no, I don't use Microsoft uh, Office. I use Google Workspace, like I just told you. As a final reminder, this is still the beta version of this feature, so things might be a little different when it is available on your account. I guess that's it. Have fun keeping an eye on all your appointments. And if this video was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you soon.